So we asked our viewers to please send in three of their best images, their best images for us to critique them. Now, these are called blind critiques because we don't say anybody's name so we can give really honest critiques because nobody else will give you an honest critique. You know, everyone's just like, you know, oh, yeah, your stuff's great. You know, no one's going to go, hey, look, your stuff's lame. Today, it's that day. <laughs> Today is that day. All right. Here we go. All right. Let's start Ooh. here. All right. I, I think like this is it. Adorable. Cute. Cute. Adorable image. Well executed. Great Five. Expert. There's yeah. a little post we can fix, but yeah, we'll yeah. talk about that in a minute. That's not bad. This one, uh, I, the bottom half, the bottom two thirds is very good. It's screaming sky replacement because it's such a stark. There's no haze on the horizon. Yeah. There's no nothing. There's no transition point. There needs to be a little haze there. That's the dead giveaway when there's like, yeah. especially with those type of shots. Like that's a yeah. Grand Canyon. Like because you a, can see way boom. back here, there's haze, yeah. and then just nothing. And it then, just boom, no clear. haze. Yeah, and then. It looks like it could be a composite, but hey, if it was, they did a great job at it. You can do this though. I've shot lighthouses seems, before, it seems and you can get bright. the Milky Way with a lighthouse because it spins around, but you do get those rays with it. Uh, it does feel a little bit, yeah, like you're saying, like there. It feels like a stop. All right. I don't know if I would go a stop in a in quarter, but it's no. like a stop over uh, overexposed. Yeah, I just went a quarter. Hey, but do you see how the whites? Like bring out the brilliance and controls the yep, light. Yep. All right. So I, I just I'm not doing this. I am I am and, not an expert at Milky Way. And then stuff. the other thing is I feel like it's actually too warm, given so the night always feels like it has to be cool. To I know me. I like it cool a little cooler. Like I want to go a little cooler, and then a little then then we could pull oh. some of that. Yeah, I feel like that is more like we want. Yeah, to be a little cooler. Do you want to pull some highlights, or what do you want? Well, no. I mean, we, we could do we could do on the sky. We could do that. We could just go to the sky. We're just going to do a linear gradient. Yeah, that'll be good. And then we'll make that just a little bluer, a little bluer. And then maybe Say take, when. take yeah, right about there and then take some texture out of the sky. You don't want to see too many stars when you're trying to focus on the Milky Way. Uh, let me so go, go to, to effects, effects and take some texture out of it and then put some clarity into it. Right, you see how it kind of lights up oh, that Milky yeah. Way more, oh. and you can even take out a little bit more texture. I mean, it you really by taking out texture, it's what I used to do in Photoshop years ago. You actually want to remove stars when you want the Milky Way core to really pop. That's some popping Milky Way core. There you go. But yeah, you see, like over there, it's kind of like blown out a little too bright. Yeah, it's too and bright. it's too warm for the night. And then you move over to the right, and it feels more balanced. Yeah. It actually cooled down that building in the background, too, with this kind of was screaming, taking my eye away from the lighthouse. Yeah, that was a pretty easy fix. I think it looks yeah. pretty pretty good. After but I will say, even the composition, like, everything's good. The first one just has a little glow around yeah, the Yeah, let me go fix that. Let me go fix that. There's but a, that could be There easy, is a white glow. Fixed. If you look at the umbrellas, there is a white glow around all of them, and especially this yeah. one. All right, here's how you fix it real quick. You're going to go to Photoshop. You're going to... Get the clone stamp tool. Been in Photoshop for 30 years. You're going to change the blend mode to darken. That's the secret. That's the secret. Changing the blend mode up here in the options bar to darken. And I would say everybody that asked me after how do you do that, that's what they forget. Right there. Over the here. And they just go in here and it gets rid of the glow. But you notice I'm painting over the umbrella, but it does not affect the umbrella. Because the umbrella when, you, dark. when you switch to darken... It says only affect pixels that are lighter than where I option click if you're on a Mac or alt click if you're on Windows. And you can see the, the glows are gone. And you can do the same thing over here. And it will not affect the umbrellas. It will just affect the glow. However, that's not the problem. This is an easy fix, right? What's cool is you did such a cute job. I mean, it's really adorable. Yeah, All of their expressions it. and everything. They got to love that photo. And you got a nice patina in the sky it's just very yeah it's a nice shot i like it all right we're gonna give you you're getting yeah. nice and everything has a clearly defined subject yeah look yes uh, you know all that leading lines all the stuff know, is there that we need there. so the compositional badly. elements that we've been missing <laughs>